Today we're introducing the Limtech Orion Series 5x10 CNC router. This machine comes equipped with a unique feature with six individual vacuum zones that can be used in combination to give you the most common material sizes from 4x4, 4x8, 5x8, 5x10, 5x5, and even some smaller zones. You do that by simply removing these small plugs and the machine is already gasketed uh, when we finish installation. Let's take a quick look at the controller now. Up top we've got our basic screen, a program on the left, and our basic settings on the right. Here's our jog functions. We've got some override capability for spindle and feed rate. And these are a really nice feature. We've got some keys here that we can press that can manually control the dust hood up and down. I really like that feature. We also have an air nozzle feature built into every machine. And that's also controlled right at the And lastly here is vacuum pump on and off and clamp. In conjunction with the clamp, we also have three pop-up pins included on every machine. nice to have the pump wired right into the controller. I don't have to go anywhere else to turn the machine on and get everything working. Let's take a little closer look at the machine now. On the side here we've got two of our pop-up pins. Nice heavy duty steel pins. There's our 30 millimeter guideway and large rack and pinion. Over here is another unique feature. We've got a vacuum gauge built right into the machine. Sometimes you'll find these on the vacuum pump, but it's also nice to have it right at the machine as well. Here's a quick look at the heat position tool changer. There's our air nozzle. Okay, here's a quick look at the machine. We're actually running a table milling program. Take a quick look at the controller. And on the screen you see the program on the left. And on the right, if you look at the top, you see feed rate at 475 inches a minute and spindle speed at 16,000 RPM. Now we'll do this as part of the installation and there's two main reasons for this. One, we want that board completely flat. It's never flat from the factory. There's dips and valleys in the, in the MBF. So by making a spoil board program, we're going to ensure that that's a completely flat surface to work from. That's going to give us more accurate machining. The second reason we would do this is because it's going to open up the, the pores of the MDF board just a little bit more, and that'll help improve our hold down. So we can actually do this spoil board routine on both sides if we like. Here we have the Limtech Orion Series 5x10 CNC router. This machine's equipped with a 12 horsepower spindle, an A position automatic tool changer. And as you can see on the table here, an automatic tool touch-off device. So right now we're going to go ahead and show you how that automatic tool touch-off device works. I simply put in the tool number that I want and go ahead and hit enter. As you can see, the machine will automatically move into position. And you can program that to be any position you like. And it's going to go ahead and... come down and touch off. And that's it. There's no uh, need to manually measure anything or write down any numbers or input any numbers into the controller. It's all done automatically with the Limtech Orion Series 5x10 CNC router. All right, now I just want to show you a tool change. And to do that, we simply type in the tool that we want, tool seven. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter on the keypad. And you'll see the machine will put away tool six and then automatically grab tool seven. the Limtech Orion Series 5x10 CNC router.
Now we'd like to go ahead and show you the machine actually cutting some parts. We've just stuck in a USB drive on the side of the controller. We're going to run this file straight from the USB and go ahead and cut some material. This is HDPE. It's got a textured surface. It's also known as marine board. These are parts that are going to be used on a fishing boat.